Hello, football fans, and welcome to Aces Field as we get ready for high school football action on a Friday night, kicking off the Labor Day holiday weekend. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Apologize for being a little bit out of breath right now, but we've been running around going pretty crazy here early on, trying to get uh, things taken care of. This has been... Uh, we had hoped to be able to uh, be live streaming this game tonight. We've run into problems with the Wi-Fi and the internet here. So we are on the backup camera. So this will be on the tape delay. And at some point we may have to take a bit of a break. If we can get the live stream going at some point this evening, we will switch over to that on our YouTube channel. But as of right now, that does not look like it is going to be happening. On top of that, <laughs> yeah, they ran out of uh, rosters for the visiting Fairview Apache. So at this point, they're trying to get one, scrounge one up for us. But at this point, we do not have a roster for the visiting team. So we're only going to be able to identify them by numbers. <sighs> so Murphy's Law has been uh, kicking in for sure tonight. I want to thank Brian Williams giving up his Friday night. He's running the camera for us this evening. And there we go. A Fairview roster. Thank you, Mr. Jeff Hot. Excellent, excellent. So we're still going to rearrange things. The Apaches are going to be kicking off to start the contest. The Aces will have the ball on offense first. So we'll get ready with the Aces on offense first off here tonight. Both these teams come into the game undefeated. Both winners in week number one. The Aces got by Edgerton. I think it was 22 to 16 the final score. And Fairview, I think, blew away their opponent. It was something like 40-something to nothing, 50-something to nothing. It was a pretty lopsided win. Flag on the field, and that's going to be a hold against the Aces on the first play from the kickoff return. Landon Turnbull, the senior quarterback, wears number seven. Aces are going to huddle up. And again, I cannot apologize enough. Okay, well, we're going to have to get the, okay. We're going to have to get, get a cable then for a feature or else, all right. Well, anyway, so it does not look like we will be bringing you the game on live stream at all tonight. We've, uh, we, we need a cable that we weren't aware that we needed. So. so while I was away, was that a safety, Brian? Or just a, a fumble and a touchdown for the Apaches. So I missed the first score of the game. As we're dealing with our technical issues, I apologize for that too. So that's that. Enough's enough. And we're going to just focus on this football game and we're going to do our standard old fashioned tape delay. We'll get the live stream up and running for next week, one way or another. And we will go for there. Again, I cannot apologize enough. But we were unaware that uh, we did not have wireless connection to the Wi-Fi here. We, we evidently need to hardwire our equipment in. We weren't aware of that, so. So the kick is good and Fairview Goes up to an early 7 to nothing lead, and the Aces will be back on offense here shortly. And I'm not even going to try to figure out who scored the touchdown or whatever because, again, like I said, I was distracted, and I, I apologize for that. We're just off to a rough start 
for the 2020 football season here on Hicks TV. I guess the, the bright side is it can only go up from here. So we're going to just relax and do the best we can and enjoy ourselves to the balance of this football game. And then I will be getting yelled at, I'm sure, by people all weekend long for not having the live stream. Again, a very different look for football this season in 2020. The players are given a, a certain number of passes that they can give to family and friends, as are the uh, kids in the band and so forth. Everybody is spaced out, and then there are a certain number of passes made available to the visiting team. Uh, again, everyone is uh, required to uh, wear their face masks out in the stands and practice social distancing. They've got the bleachers taped off doing everything they possibly can to keep this safe for everybody involved. So we'll get ready for another kickoff. Caleb Frank, the kicker, number one, scooped up back on about the 15-yard line. Ball brought out to just shy of the 25, and that's where the Aces will set up first and 10. So first and 10 for Hicksville on their own 24-yard line. Turnbull will work out of the shotgun. Three wide receivers out on the near side towards us. One on the far side. The receivers nearest to us are number 32, Boston Hoopman, number 13, Brody Balzer. And they... Try the quarterback keeper up the middle, nothing doing there. Pick up of a couple. Make it second and about seven. And Kyler Baird, number 11, is the other wide receiver out on the near side towards us. We'll change the look up just a little bit. Turnbull sets again. Looking at a second and seven. Aces down by seven here early in the first quarter. Pitch out, caught. Balzer, Balzer across the 30-yard line to about the 31, 32. Somewhere in there is where he's rolled out of bounds. That's going to be about a yard shy of a first down. Now they're going to make that uh, two yards shy, so it'll be third and two. So option and nothing doing, and he gets swarmed under and brought down for a little bit of a loss. That's going to bring up fourth down for the Aces. Turnbull tried to roll out. There was just nothing there on the option. He hadn't have, didn't have anybody to get the ball to to hand it off, and nobody was open to throw it. So fourth down. Wortman dropping back. Number seven goes back deep. Doug Rakes for Fairview. Wortman gets his foot into it. High parabola comes down. It's going to take a nice bounce and right into the hands of number 47, Luke Timbrook. And Timbrook just caught it on the bounce and took, it, took off upfield and gets across the, uh, well, let's see, we're going to mark it right about on the 40-yard line, dead on. So first and 10 for the Apaches on their own 40-yard line. 9.46 to go here in our opening quarter. Also want to make mention another change is halftime is only 10 minutes this season. So the Aces Pride Marching Band will perform, but they are not bringing in visiting. The visiting teams don't bring the band. Quick handoff to number 47, Tim Brook, and Tim Brook battles his way out for a couple of yards. Doug Rakes, the senior quarterback. Yeah. 
And for those of you who are watching along, we've also started the live stream now. <laughs> so, so what we're going to do here is we're going to leave the camera going for the tape delay that we're hooked up to. And we're going to move some things around. We, we have another tripod. So I'm going to try to keep up with the play-by-play. -play. And we'll, at the same time, set up a second tripod here. First and 10 at the Aces 35 for the Apaches. I'm going to try to move the iPad as I speak. You should be picking me up on the iPad, too. And welcome to the live stream on the Hicks TV YouTube channel, as well as So, I was just going to. Uh, bear with us, folks. I know this is not the greatest <laughs> right now, but we're getting things arranged so that we can bring you the live stream as well. So first and goal, or first and 10 from the 10 yard line. So yeah, first and goal for the Apaches. And get themselves a little closer. And again, I apologize if you're getting bounced around here a little bit while we get things situated here for the live stream. So, so I think what we're going to do is see if we can leave Brian. So, yeah, which, which would you prefer, Brian? Do you want to do the camera or do you want to do the iPad? All right, so Brian's going to take over on the iPad. I'm going to come over here on the regular camera. And another touchdown for the Apaches. So they'll get ready to try to kick the extra point here. High snap, and they're going to hang on to it and go for two. They're going to head towards, and I think they made it in. It is good. That was Tim Brook took the snap and uh, ran it in. That'll make it 15 nothing now, Apaches. As the Aces will huddle up and prepare to get the ball back. And we will hopefully... <laughs> Get things calmed down here in the press box. After a kind of chaotic start to our coverage here tonight. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to hear me okay on our iPad that is doing our live streaming. Uh, again, that's on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. And of course, 
I'm going to try to do the best I can on the camera here. For our tape delay, and depending on how this goes and how this camera work looks, <laughs> we may be we may be just using the iPad from here on out and pulling it off the iPad to put onto the MediaCom Channel 12. Either way, there's the kick. Comes down, caught back at about the 12-yard line. That's Balzer. Balzer trying to make something happen. He's going laterally. He got out to maybe the 15 to 16 before he's brought down. So Balzer gets him to the 17-yard line. That's where they're going to officially mark it, and that's where the Aces will set up shop. 7.06 to go, first quarter. We'll be letting you know, too, that I, I will be stepping away from our broadcast position at halftime. I'll be running next door to announce for the Aces Pride Marching Band again this football season. So thanks to Zach Kohlmeyer for uh, offering that. Turnbull with the handoff, and not much there. Might have got a yard or two. We'll see where they mark him. So they're going to give him credit for a yard, make it second and nine, get the ball out to the 18-yard line. Turnbull takes the snap, hangs on to it, rolls out, looks downfield, makes a pass, caught. First down yardage, that was Bergman making the grab. Bergman getting out across the 30-yard uh, line. So Bergman puts the ball out on about the 32-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for the Aces. Turnbull again. Hard count, nobody jumps. And there's going to be a delay of game. So that'll back him up five after the first down. Not sure what was going on there, but evidently some sort of a miscommunication. That'll move the ball back to the 27-yard line to make it a first and 15 for the Aces. Turnbull takes the snap this time. Turnbull hangs on to the ball himself, works through traffic across the 30-yard line, back out to about the original line of scrimmage at about 32. So he picks up the five that they lost. It'll be second and 10 for the Aces. We'll take a little bit of a break here between quarters, too, to say a big thank you to our football broadcast underwriters. I haven't had a chance to mention Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships here tonight. Turnbull, no one to throw to, hangs on to it. Turnbull runs, and he'll get the first down and uh, get close to the 45-yard line. So another first down for the Aces. That'll put the ball at the 45, first and 10. Down by 15, looking to make something happen offensively on this stanza. Another hard snap from Turnbull. Turnbull fakes, turns the other way. Ball's caught. That's uh, Wortman. Wortman stays on his feet. Wortman gets that cross midfield and gets brought down at the Apache 47-yard line. So, Aces will line up. 
Ball at the Apache 47-yard line. Turnbull gets the snap. Quick handoff right up the middle out to about the 44-yard line or 43-yard line. That was Wortman, I think, with the carry. Wortman gets to the 44. That'll make it second and about two. Oh, no, they're going to move the chains. I was looking at the wrong set of flags. So first down for Hicksville at uh, the Apache's 44-yard line. 4.04 to go in the game. And another quarterback keeper, that's Turnbull. Turnbull, nothing there, and he's going to be dropped for about a two-yard loss. So Turnbull, nowhere to go, and they just chase him down, and he'll lose a couple on that play. Looks like they're going to give him a three-yard loss. So second and 13 now for Hicksville. Turnbull, again with the hard snap. High snap this time. Turnbull drops back, dumps it over the middle. That's caught by Bergman, but Bergman's corralled right at midfield and brought down right there for another two-yard loss. So that's going to move them all the way back to midfield. It'll be third and 15, 16 yards to go for the Aces. As they're moving in the wrong direction, they broke across midfield, and now they're headed back the way they came. Turnbull. With the snap, dropping back, looking downfield. Turnbull's airing it out. He's got a man almost intercepted. Oh, my goodness. That was uh, number 20, Ryan Richards from Fairview, who was right there. And that's about as close as you can come to intercepting the ball without actually doing it. So that's going to make it fourth and a long 16 from midfield. We'll see if the Aces, it uh, looks like the, they're going to, Drop back uh, Wortman to punt the ball. Back deep again will be number seven, Doug Rakes for Fairview. Turnbull's the up man. They put their foot to the ball. That's a nice punt. Way back, caught. And he's going to try to get around the end. He does. This could be trouble. He's on the far sideline. And they finally... Corral him and bring him down just shy of midfield. That was uh, quite the run back for Rakes as uh, he probably picked up about 35 yards on that carry. Gets it out to the 47, 48 yard line of the Apaches. So we apologize too. We're having some issues right now with the uh, placement of our webcam for the live stream but we're going to be correcting that when we get to the quarter break we're going to be rearranging some things to get the equipment set up a little bit better caught by number 35 who turns up field that was uh, Russ Zedike making the grab and Zedike gets to the 33 yard line of the aces that'll be good enough for another first down for Fairview So 158 to go here. 15 nothing Fairview as they've been dominating the game so far. The Aces have not been able to get far beyond midfield. Caught, that's number three. Got some running room. He jukes around one player, reverses the field, and Ripke gets down inside the 20-yard line to about the 19. Cade Ripke with the catch and run. Another first down for Fairview. Yeah. 
Dropping back, looking downfield, rakes, unloads it, and it's incomplete. Now make it second and 10. Rakes with the ball. Wide open field. He takes off straight ahead. Rakes shaking and baking. A flag is thrown. Another flag is thrown. He gets it into the end zone, but I counted at least three yellow handkerchiefs on the field. So we'll wait and see what this is going to shake out as. Rakes got the ball, dropped back. It opened up right in front of him. He took off and headed right for daylight. But then as he started... Uh, Working his way through traffic on the Aces uh, defense. We had one, fl one flag thrown back at about the 15-yard line and then two more near the end of the play. So a consultation with the officials. And we're going to see just what the official word is going to be. Officials getting all of the flags picked up. So again, I counted three. So we had a block to the back. That is declined. And a... So we had an illegal block to the back, which was declined, and then the face mask, or no, the holding... And that'll be 10 yards from the spot of the foul against the Apaches, so that will back them up a little bit. So 1-11 to go in our opening quarter. And again, we get to the quarter break. Uh, I'm going to fill you in on and saying some thanks to our underwriters, but we're going to be moving some equipment around too. Rakes, quick throw, tosses it over to Ripke. Ripke still on his feet. Ripke gets down to about the 17-yard line before they bring him down. Rakes gets the snap. Rakes looking downfield, rolls out, puts the ball into the air, and it overthrows his receiver out of bounds. That'll be no good. Takes the clock down to 30 seconds. We'll stop on the incomplete pass. Third and nine for Fairview. So Rakes will line up in the shotgun again. Rakes again dropping back. Very little pressure on him. Rolls out. Flag is thrown. And the pass is incomplete. Well, we seem to have lost our streaming connection. So we'll see here if we can get our internet back here shortly. And in the meantime, and we've got a third and very long now for the Apaches, third and 25, Rakes. Throws it out, caught, 
Gets back a little of the yardage to about the 29-yard line. That's where fourth down will come up, and the punting unit will come out for the Apaches as we get ready to wrap up quarter number one here. The final ticks going off, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. And after one, it'll be the Fairview Apaches leading the Hicksville Aces by a score of 15 to nothing. So while we try to move some stuff around here to give us a little extra room, I'm going to say a big thank you to our football broadcast underwriters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and the Jim Schmidt Ford, the Jim Schmidt Truck Lot. As it looks like our, wise, our live stream is back with us. So. so remember, if you are in the market for a vehicle, if you want a brand spank, a new pre-owned car, truck, van, or SUV, check out the great selection they have on the lots at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships. Or better yet, in, in this age of coronavirus, you can check out their complete inventory online at jimschmidtauto.com. And see something you like, just get in contact with the folks at the dealerships, and they'll make arrangements for you to see that vehicle and be able to do so safely. They're doing everything they can to make sure that their employees and your family stay safe and that you still get your transportation needs met. And the kick is up. And no good. And that will be the end of the quarter. So, so the end of the first quarter, the field goal attempt fails. And again, I apologize for missing things as we we're moving stuff around here. But we are, again, at the quarter break. And again, our high school football coverage underwritten by the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships. Once again, for the 2020-21 school year, Jim Schmidt is lending his support to uh, all of our Hicksville Aces sports broadcasts here on Hicks TV. I want to thank him so very much. We hope that you will do the same. If you do go by the dealerships or if you're running a gym or his lovely wife or any of his employees, make sure you let him know how much you appreciate being able to watch the Aces Sports Programming here on Hicks TV, whether it's on our Hicks TV YouTube channel on the live stream or on the tape delay, whatever the case may be. Remember, whenever you see Aces Sports action on Hicks TV, it's made possible by the generous underwriting support of the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Bill Murphy, Brian Williams, so glad to have you here with us. I'm trying to run one camera while I'm calling play-by-play, -play, Brian is operating the, the live stream camera. And uh, so far, we've, we've had one interruption in the stream, but uh, hopefully we'll be pretty stable from here on out. And if this is to, proves to be too difficult for me, I may, we may forego this camera. <laughs> and just use it as a backup if the stream fails. So when we put it together in the studio later, we'll edit it down. We can go back and forth between the different cameras as necessary to bring you the game in its entirety. Oh, what a night it's been. But a beautiful night for football. Aces with the ball. Snap caught by Bergman. Bergman tries to get around the corner, and he'll be uh, chucked out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. Again, uh, not as loud here as usual. Again, they've limited the size of the crowd. I believe, uh, if I remember correctly, the Aces players each get four vouchers they can give to friends and family to come to the game. And the visiting team, whomever they might be, those players get two vouchers each. And so that sort of limits the, limits the number of people here. And they've got, uh, again, uh, tape down on the bleachers. The, you're not allowed to sit where there's blue tape. Is it back on now?
All right. So again, for the live stream, we've had a few interruptions. We apologize for that, but we welcome you back to the Hicks TV YouTube channel. As I said, this is our first time here at Aces Field. So we're working out some of the kinks as we go along. But so far, big thanks to uh, the Sherwood Mutual Telephone Association. They provide the Wi-Fi out here. Rick Rossdorfer is here helping us out. We want to thank him so very much for taking some time out to come and help us out as well. Hard snap. Another hard snap. Third hard snap. No good. Punt is away. Comes down. Takes a roll scooped up by number seven, Doug Rakes. Rakes. Rumbles around and finally gets brought down about the 39-yard line. Underway in our second quarter. Again, it's 15 to nothing. The Apaches leading. And Fairview with the ball. Their quarterback, Doug Rakes, six foot senior. Quick handoff. Number 47, Luke Timbrook. Timbrook just turns on the Jets and rockets out to about the 45 yard line of Hicksville territory. Baird was the one that wrapped him up and finally brought him down. But the Aces hanging tough. And I got to admit, Fairview looking pretty good here so far in the first quarter. They were, they shut out their opponent in week number one. And they're up by 15. Another handoff to Ripke. Excuse me, to Timbrook, number 47. And minimal gain. Picks up a couple, make it a second and eight. Rakes looking things over. Brings Tim Brook a little closer. He'll hang on to it himself. Nice move, and he'll get inside the 30-yard line. They finally get him around the ankles. They'll bring him down at about the 29. That'll be enough for another Fairview first down. Quick pitch out to Cade Ripke. Ripke battling his way down, not quite to the 10 yard line on the far side of the field. That'll be enough to move the chains though for Fairview, another first down for the Apaches. As once again, Fairview in the red zone and threatening to put more points on the board against the Aces. Passes in the air and off the hands of the intended receiver, incomplete. That was uh, Zedike, the intended receiver. Not able to get his hands around it. It was a little bit high and outside for Zedike. So Rakes lining up, dropping back again. Rakes puts the ball in the air, and it's picked off. 
intercepted in the end zone. Turnbull stepped in front of the receiver right at the last minute, picked it off, and I think he came down with his feet in the end zone for the touchback. Oh, nope, he was just outside, so it's, a, it's the one-yard line for the Aces, so they've got a lot of real estate to cover here. The turnover comes at 8.51 left in the first half of play. Turnbull like I said came up, landed, and I think he thought, I think he might have thought that he was in the end zone because he just, as soon as he came down, he stepped out of bounds. So they're saying the one yard line. So they got their wide receivers out. And we'll see what the Aces come up with here from the shadow of their own goalposts. It'll be timeout for the Aces. They want to talk about it. So we've got a timeout on the field here with again 8.51 left in our first half. And the Aces trailing the visiting Fairview Apaches 15 to nothing. They've got the ball and 99 yards to go to hit pay dirt. Bill Murphy, so glad to have you here with us. Again, uh, a lot of changes this year when it comes to our sports broadcasting with the coronavirus situation. The Ohio High School Athletic Association and the schools in Ohio uh, decided to allow live streaming coverage for the very first time of sports action on the high school level uh, simply because uh, so many people will not be able to uh, come to see the games as they happen live. So uh, again, we want to thank Hicksville Schools for allowing us to be able to do the live streams uh, because uh, again, it's up to each individual school district whether or not to allow live streaming and who to allow to do it. So we appreciate their allowing us to uh, bring you the home games. Uh, we're not sure how things are going to work for the away games. Again, it's sort of dependent upon uh, the other schools, what kind of Wi-Fi they have, uh, their capabilities, and uh, the, the amount of space they have in their respective play or, or press boxes. So we're going to try to bring you as many games as we possibly can here on Hicks TV and on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. But... Uh, We'll just sort of have to wait and see. We should be able to bring you all of the home games without any problem. Barring, of course, the little minor hiccups we had to the start of our broadcast and our live stream here tonight. <laughs> Ready to get back into action. Quick handoff as they uh, run it to try to get themselves a little breathing room and not have to worry about dropping back into the end zone to try to throw the ball. Pick up of a few. I said, trying to get themselves, like I said, a little little space to work with. You really don't want to have to drop back too far into your end zone to throw the ball. Pick up of a couple, make it second and eight. Turnbull looking things over. Got three out on one side, one on the other. Quick dump, and it's caught just across the five yard line out to about the six. Short gain, that'll bring up third down. So they're saying really well, there's a flag on the play. That's why we were, we were waiting to see, and uh, they, it stayed at second and eight, and we didn't see the flag evidently, so. And it's going to be against the Aces for an illegal receiver downfield. So that'll be half the distance to the goal line, so it'll make it second and eight again. Or no, get that third and six now is what they're saying. Okay. And they better hurry up and get this ball snap. There we go. And he drops it onto the turf, and there's a scramble. A fumble 
on the play. And like I said, people diving for it. We'll see who gets possession. And the Aces are going to retain possession for all the good it's going to do them. It's going to be fourth down and six from uh, their own, uh, looks like about their own six-yard line, thereabouts, or four-yard line. I don't know. Long way to go. So Cole Wortman, the senior, doing the punting chores. Needs to really get his leg into this one. And he does. That's a pretty good punt. Uh, goes all the way back to midfield. And returned out to about the 38 yard line of the Aces at a flag thrown near the end of the play. That was Rakes with the carry for Fairview. So that was going to be against Fairview. That'll back them up a bit. So they'll march that one off, and they'll put the ball down at about the 47-yard line, it looks like. No, they're going to say right at the 50-yard line. All right. Rakes drops back, puts the ball in the air. Caught. And Frank makes the grab and takes the ball down near to the 30-yard line, marked at about the 31. Good enough for a Fairview first down, and they're going to come right up to the line here. Work out of the no huddle this time around. Rakes again pitches it out, caught. That's Zedike with it. Zedike rumbles down inside the 15 yard line. Turnbull is when they finally brought him down, but he'll move the chains and give the Aces another first down. Put the ball at the 13 yard line. Rakes again drops back. Nice little dump pass right over the middle to Zedike, and Zedike just motors into the end zone. Nice play and a good read by Rakes, and Zedike, good awareness too. He made the grab and just shoots right into the end zone to make it 21-0 as the uh, Apaches continue to dominate here in the first half of this football game. They're going to set up to kick the extra point. Of course, they did, they did fake it earlier, so we'll see. The holder is number 47, Luke Timbrook. And the kicker, Caleb Frank. Ball's down, kick is up, and looks good. Splits the upright, bounces it off the Quonset Hut roof. And it's 22-0, Fairview with 6.21 to go here in our football game. Week number two in the home opener for the Apaches. Again, Fairview and Hicksville, both winners in week number one. The Aces down at Edgerton, a game we were not able to be at uh, between the social distancing requirements and the limited number of people that we could be in the press box at Edgerton. Uh, we were not able to be in the press box, and with the threatening rainy weather that we had and our equipment not being waterproof, <laughs> we, uh, we decided discretion would be the better part of valor. So uh, we do, uh, do know, though, that many of you were able to watch the game. Um, it was not available to us, but uh, the uh, Edgerton schools were able to... Uh, why to live stream the game so so aces fans were able to watch that uh that thrilling win in the late part of the game 
Patch is getting ready to kick the ball off to the Aces. Get ready to kick it off. Well, one of the bright sides, Brian, is uh, if they do one of the things where the you know the cheerleaders have those little footballs or whatever they're throwing out into the stands, we might have a halfway decent shot of being able to get one this year. <laughs> See, they have a good enough arm to make the throw. They put their leg into it, and that's going to go out of bounds. And again, we're still working on some of our camera angles and everything. So, so if every now and then you get a you get a window frame or a door frame in the, in the, in the shot, that's the reason why. We'll get it figured out, and it's uh, going to be a procedure call against the Apaches at the kick out of bounds, and the Aces will get the ball on the 35-yard line. Turnbull gets the snap. Quick handoff and nothing doing. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. And he'll be brought down right there. That was uh, Wortman with the carry. Like I said, not much there for Cole. As uh, he got maybe six inches. Turnbull looking down the field. He's going to air it out. Got a man open. And it's caught. Bergman. Bergman makes the grab at about the 44 yard line. Nice catch from Jackson Bergman. That's, that's more like it. Aces pick up the first down and get a fair. Fair amount of real estate on the play, too. 5.38 to go. Split backs on either side of Turnbull. Hands it off to Baird, or excuse me, to Balzer. Balzer gets down to about the 31-yard line. So... It's going to be at the 32-yard line. The officials don't want to touch the ball, so they have these little high-visibility orange markers that they put down, and then the setter for whichever team has possession of the ball places the ball on that little marker. How much there is they not able to get around the corner and uh, just get ran out of bounds? So it'll, no gain on the play, and it'll be third and five. So you have all these little subtle things that are going on, that the little minor changes they've made to be able to keep everybody safe. And again, we do want to remind you, and we'll do that after this play here. Turnbull rolling out, looking downfield, and they catch him from behind, and he's dropped back at the 35-yard line. Was looking down field and did not hear the footsteps behind him. But we did want to mention if you do come out to Aces Field for any of the games, and as a matter of fact, if you attend any football games, high school level football games, uh, please, you know, you are encouraged to, to wear your mask and practice the social distancing. Wash your hands frequently uh, because, again, you know, the only reason we want to try to keep things on an even keel because the, the games can be suspended as easily as, as they can be played. And the best way to ensure that the high school football action continues as we get a first down, it looks like, from Turnbull on a quarterback keeper is, again, for you to wear your mask, practice safe social distancing, and do your part. And we thank everybody for that. And looking down here in the crowd, I can't say that 
I see everybody wearing a mask, but most people are wearing a mask. Snap, quick handoff. Wortman, Wortman is going to get, uh, looks like about maybe three, four yards on play. Yeah, maybe a little longer than that. I'm going to say four. Well, they're going to give him three, second and seven. Three minutes, 45 seconds to go before halftime. Again, the Aces Pride marching band here to entertain at the shortened halftime. Turnbull looks things over. Balzer makes the grab at the 20-yard line. Heads down, gets nearly to the 15. So the Aces third and short. Three yards to go. Another quick handoff, and not much there at all. Again, Wortman with the carry, and Wortman is not going to get the first down yardage. It's going to leave him a couple yards shy. Gain of about one on the play. Wortman on a big fourth down. He's going to, Turnbull's going to hang on to it and gets the first down yardage. So the Aces stay alive. 2.09 to go here. And it'll be a first and goal for the Aces from the six yard line. So the Aces hoping to put some points on the board. Start working their way back into this game here before halftime. Another quarterback keeper around the corner, driving, and nope, nothing doing there. Looks like he might have got to about the five-yard line. So it'll be second and goal from the five-yard line. Down to 90 seconds and the clock running. Split backs on either side of Turnbull. Balzer with the ball and again, just nothing there. That'll be third down and goal. And a timeout by the Apaches. So the Apaches will call timeout with a minute 17 to go before halftime. Again at halftime, we'll be switching around microphones on one camera. I'll be headed next door to announce for the Aces Pride Marching Band. The live stream on our Hicks TV YouTube channel will continue with the halftime show. And then we'll see for the second half whether we'll try to work both cameras or whether I will simply do the, do the live stream and we'll transpose that for the playback on Channel 12. We'll, we'll see how it goes because I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit difficult running a camera and calling play-by-play -play at the same time. If we had another person, it would be a lot easier, but... So we may, again, uh, make another alteration and just go with the live stream for the second half. And if you're watching this on the tape delay then, if you're wondering, well, it looks different in the after, after halftime, that'll be the reason why, because we uh, went over to the live stream camera just to simplify things. And 
So here's the situation. It's Hicksville's ball. They've got a third and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. Minute 17 to go. Turnbull rolls out, looks downfield, nothing there, tosses the ball, and it was incomplete. It was batted a couple times, and it looked like he might have actually caught it near the end zone, but they're saying that it actually it hit the ground first. So they don't get, you don't get the one hoppers in football, unfortunately. So with the incomplete pass, 1-11 to go. And one more crack at it for the Aces. Fourth and goal from the five-yard line. Turnbull puts it in the air. Caught. There you go. Touchdown, Aces. Grab was made by Boston Hootman. And that gets the Aces on the scoreboard, erases that goose egg, 22-6. to six. They'll still trail going into the halftime locker room, but at least they avoid the shutout here tonight. Set up to kick the extra point. Snap, kick is up. And kick is good. So 22 to seven now, with a minute seven to go here in the first half, and the Aces will come to the sideline, get ready to kick it off to Fairview for the first time tonight. And don't forget the Apaches will have the ball to start the second half as they kicked off to the Aces to start the game. So again, we want to welcome everybody watching us on YouTube, on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Hope you are enjoying our live stream coverage. <laughs> As we get a shot of our other camera. So we've got both cameras here tonight. We brought the one, our regular broadcast camera, as a, as a backup, we not thinking we would really need to use it, but as it turned out, we kind of did for at least a while. So. We're going to go ahead and we have this one running for the first half. We may uh, set it aside for the second half. We can fire it back up if we need to. Ace is teeing it up, getting ready to kick off to the Apaches. We'll see if they'll kick it deep or if they'll try for a squib kick onside. Try to get the ball back. And they are going to keep it low, and it's scooped up. That was uh, number two, Cody Krasnow. And Karzenow, Karzenow, that's it, touched his knee at the 40-yard line, so that's where the Apaches will set up shop. So Fairview gets the ball back. They'll have it first and 10 of their own 40-yard line. Minute five to go. Rakes puts the ball in the air. Caught. Nice catch, and that's going to be first down yardage and a little bit more. They get just enough of him to lose balance. And Zedike finally falls down, but not before he crosses into Aces territory. And they're going to mark him down at the Hicksville, it looks like about the 43-yard line. Hurry up offense for, and it'll be a keeper by Rakes for the Apaches. And Rakes is off to the races, working his way through traffic. Down there on the far end and into the end zone he goes. And I'm not seeing any flags on the play. So just like that, the Aces answer with a touchdown that takes uh, about 25 seconds off the game clock. They're into the end zone to make it 28-7. With 41 seconds left in the half. Yeah. 
And they're going to attempt the extra point. Again, their field goal kicker is Frank. Caleb Frank. And that one's kind of an ugly looking kick, but he manages to get it through sort of a, <laughs> sort of like one of those sidearm curves, but uh, he didn't hook it until after it went through the uprights. So the kick is good. It's 29 to seven, a 22 point lead for the Apaches with 40 seconds, 41 seconds left to go before halftime. Again, our coverage brought to you by the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and Jim Schmidt Ford and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Want to thank them for their continued underwriting support. Our East of Sports coverage on Hicksville Community Television. Both on air and online. So Hicksville ready to get the ball back as the Apaches will tee it up on the 40-yard line. And that's uh, kind of an ugly looking kick that'll go down on the far sideline. Looks like he picked that one off the side of his shoe. And they'll throw the flag as it comes down out of bounds. All right, so it'll be first and 10 for the Aces at the 35-yard line with, again, 41 seconds to go. So Hicksville with the ball, snap, pass in the air, knocked down right in front of Bergman, slapped to the turf by uh, Ripke for the Apaches. 36 seconds left, clock stops on the incompletion. It'll be second and 10 for the Aces. And this time Bergman makes the grab. Bergman goes out of bounds at about the 41-yard line. Now they're going to give him the 42, it looks like. Well, he's a 43. So it'll be third down and three for Hicksville at their own 43-yard line. Turnbull gets the snap, drops back, launches it, caught on the run. Nice grab. And Hootman loses his helmet, so he's got to run off the field quickly. And they need to get a substitute on. They're going no huddle. It was, the clock did not stop, and they'll, they'll spike it to stop the clock with 23 seconds. It'll be second and 10. From the 34 yard, 33, 34 yard line, it looks like. As when Hootman made the catch and got some extra yardage, we went down, his helmet popped off. So he needed to get off the field right away, but the clock was still running. So here we go 23 seconds left in the half. So second and 10 for the Aces. 
Turnbull gets the snap. Turnbull puts the ball in the air, and it's knocked away. And incomplete. Balzer got up there, but uh, was not able to hang on to it. That'll make it 18 seconds to go. And again, we get to halftime. Our live stream is going to continue. Uh, we'll get a quick shot of the scoreboard and go back to the stands and then get ready for the band to take the field. But we're just going to keep the live stream rolling if we can. And again, if, if we get another hiccup, then just bear with us. We, oh, they're going to reset it at halftime? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so the live stream is going to get suspended briefly at halftime, and then we will resume with the, well, wherever, whatever point of halftime we are in, and we've got our other camera, so if you're not able to catch the halftime show on the live stream, we'll have it for you on the tape delay. So... So we're going to go through all this. we got all these growing pains to get through, but the, the upside is that hopefully that means that next week we'll just be able to sail right through everything and not have any difficulties. And again, we want to thank uh, Mr. Haught, Mr. Overmeyer, the uh, co-athletic directors and the Sherwood Mutual Telephone Association, SMTA, for coming out, Rick Rostifer. Uh, just uh, everybody pitching in and doing everything they can to help us out. I feel kind of bad because we're up here. We're, we're kind of stuck doing the broadcast, so there's not much we can do except let them do their job. And so far they've been doing a great job for us. We thank them uh, a lot. We really do appreciate it. Turnbull puts the ball in the air and just out of the reach of his receiver. That'll be incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down. So fourth and ten. From the 35-yard line with 14 seconds left in the half. Aces still have a couple timeouts that they could use if they wanted to. To stop the clock, though, I don't see what the point would be at this, this juncture. Turnbull gets the snap, drops back, looks downfield. Decides to hang on to the ball, and he's going to be dropped for a huge loss. Back at about the 41-yard line, there was just nothing downfield. Good defense from the Apaches. And so the Aces will turn it over on downs with seven seconds left in the half. See if they're just going to take a knee and put an end to this. Again, we will be suspending the live stream at the end of the second half. They're going to be resetting the Wi-Fi and everything, and then as soon as they are, as soon as we get the thumbs up, we will be resuming our live stream. So stay with us. We will be coming back with a live stream as soon as we can. Quick shot and off the ground, incomplete. Three seconds left to go. And we will, again, we've got the other camera here. So if you're, if you're watching this on Mediacom Channel 12 or on YouTube, if you're watching the edited version on YouTube sometime in the future, we'll, hope, we'll have the halftime show for you as well, hopefully. Or at least on Mediacom we will. Sometimes we are not able to do the halftime show on YouTube for copyright reasons. Caught, and off to the races. Is running out, the, the clock is at zeros now, but he is still on his feet and the play is still live. And looking for something, and they're gonna finally get him out of bounds. And that will be the end of the first half. So we've played the first 24 minutes of football here at Aces Field tonight, and at halftime, the score is Fairview 29, and the Aces, seven. We're going to uh, take a bit of a break. Invite you to stay tuned. The live stream is going to be uh, suspended coming up here. And then, of course, we'll have uh, 
halftime entertainment coming your way, and we'll be back both with the live stream as soon as we can to bring you all the exciting second-half action right here on Hicks TV. Thank <laughs> you.